and here we are today I'm working with uh, tetrahedron it's uh, of course four sides that are put together and it's all electronics each side here has a little sensor arrangement in one corner and they all point towards different corners there's just one side that has the sensor arrangement facing each corner uh, so if we look at them all you can see that this is a symmetrical situation uh, and we can convince ourselves if I start here pointing upwards and now turn it away from me turn it right turn it away from me and left each time I turn it 120 degrees in alternating directions ding. And ding. left right left right left after turning it away from me at 70.52 degrees by the way away and left and that goes well okay now we'll make it more difficult. I'll put it down here and then I will turn it and I will turn it left to start with. Now it ended up over in that corner. Turn it and turn it right. That's the opposite corner. Turn it and turn it left. Turn it, turn it right. Turn it, turn it left. Turn it, turn it right. Now it's changing directions. What if I change? Uh, well, I instead turn it right first time. Away, right. Away, left. Not at the top. Away, right. Away, left. Away, right. Away, left. Away, right. Away, left. Away, right. Way left. Of course, I have the top, so if I turn it away and choose to go left twice, then I have the other situation. But why is it not the same? That uh, doesn't compute in my mind. Um, also, if we're looking at the sides here, um, there's a pin one, and it has to match pin one on the other side, of course. That is only possible if two of the pin ones are pointing in one direction and then the last direction is facing left on two of the sides and right on two of the other sides so it appears like two of the sides somehow are mirror images of each other and it has some kind of a Möbius uh, band characteristic to it and this thing here you just simply don't get finished with it and um, it is absolutely clear how our brains are not constructed to overview a, a closed surface that is three-dimensional. We see things flat and we try to imagine what will happen when we turn something. But when it's not a nice ball or a cube or something like that, it can't track it. It's just not possible. And that really should give us an idea of how difficult it would be for the human brain to actually imagine a four, five, six or eight-dimensional object. Uh, this is the outside limit of me. Uh, it takes a long time to get that thing to work. And then of course we have to program the DSP afterwards too. But that's another story. Good night. Be well out there.